This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in an existential quandary again. And I've seen Of Stars and Men, an animated documentary of sorts from John Hubley made back in 1961, I think. Similarly to Everybody Rides the Carousel, the film is based on a book of the same name, which explores humankind and its place within the universe. It has a relatively loose narrative that follows such a curious man, who initially stakes his claim as above other animals in the surrounding forests, only to find that he is not at all the biggest thing within the universe, much less the world around him. Entering a mysterious building, he comes to explore and contemplate many topics of human existence and purpose, from time and space to matter and energy. Meanwhile, the original book's author, Harlow Shapley, narrates the film, explaining the more complex concepts as it goes along. Not much to that detail, really. There really isn't too much to the film itself, either, at least not in a substantial way. Rather, the narrative and characters don't matter as much as what the film has to teach the man, and by extension the audience, all about the various ideas of the universe and what it contains, great and small. It further seems to know its audience, and makes sure to present these concepts without any overcomplication or assumptions taking things slowly and generally presenting it all visually rather than through narration. Though when narration is at play, it's usually in tandem with the visuals. It is primarily in what you see throughout the film that matters more, and not only because of the unusual presentation of the scientific concepts overall, but also because of the artistry involved in these presentations the art style on display is already rather intriguing, but the many ways that it's put to use is also very much a highlight. It's mostly watercolors and line art, I think, but it's also used relatively lightly, like a simple sketches or line art, which opens the door to a myriad of ways it is put to use from deep blue paints with splotches of stars and galaxies to rainbows of cubic pieces of matter like building blocks that can explode and bounce around a room before becoming something new. It's not much, I suppose, but it is a great example of the ways that scientific concepts can be illustrated, simplified, and accessible, but without being so basic that it undermines the actual lessons to be learned. Furthermore, while the greater narrative is given less importance, it does give the viewer some sort of ground level to view the film from, and from which they can continue to either look inward at the world around them, or up towards the stars above them. You know, all that philosophical stuff. Of Stars and Men John Hubley 1961. Four stars. I definitely say that it's worth seeing for yourself, especially since I'm bad at explaining things. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. You know, yesterday's movie was about the ocean, and today's movie is about space. I can't tell if this theater is trying to tell me something about traveling. <laughs>